Assalamualaikum. My name, my name is Kofun Khan. I have read and watched stories about how one person, even one that seems so small, can change the world. I used to think stories about these people weren't real, but then I read about Abdullah. He is usually called Ali Asghar. Ali Asghar was the infant son of Imam Hussein. After many of the men from Imam Hussein came for kill, Imam Hussein brought out Ali Asghar from his tent. The baby was crying endlessly in the tent. Imam Hussein brought his son to the battlefield and asked the army that showed him no mercy to at least have mercy on his infant son. He laid him on the ground. He laid him on the ground and told and told the army that he will step away and remain in case and remain in case the army thinks that he will take the water from the baby. A strange and unexpected thing happened. The soldiers from Omar ibn Saad army began question what they were doing. Yazid's army was in danger of having a rebellion. Omar ibn Saad quickly called out to his best archer, Hormullah. Omar ibn Saad told Hormullah to cut the speech of, of Imam Hussein. What was the speech? The speech was the presence of Ali Asghar. No one could affect Yazid's army like Ali Asghar seeing that no one was coming to give a child water, though Imam Hussein picked him up. Some stories say that when Hormala fired his bow, he missed his first and second shot to the right and the left of Ali Asghar. Omar ibn Saad asked Hormala how could he miss as he was the best archer in Arabia. Hormala replied that each time he let go of the arrow, he saw the Prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, standing in front of Ali Asghar. On the third attempt, Hormala closed his eyes and fired a three-headed arrow that pierced the neck of Ali Asghar. Ali Asghar was only a baby. I have a baby brother not much older than Ali Asghar was when he was killed. Sometimes I think what a baby can do. But Ali Asghar showed the world that the smallest hands can change the world. He may have been mercilessly killed, but Ali Asghar almost broke Yazid's army like no sword could. Whenever you feel like things are too difficult and there is no way for you to win, remember Ali Asghar. Thank you. Now I will give a small speech about orphans. Islam gave a special importance to the orphan. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was an orphan. In the Quran, God says, Fadali Galadi Yadu This means this means that such is the man who turns away the orphan with harshness. After Imam Hussein's death in Kurbala, the the, ch the children in the family of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, became orphans. One of the orphans was Imam Hussein's daughter, Sakina. In, in these stories, she died in a dungeon. The things that happened to the Prophet's family are sad. And it is sad that there are many orphans in the world today. The best thing we can do is, is 
to support the children in our community who lost a parent. And if we cannot support and care for them, then we can help them with money. If we cannot help them with money, then we can pray for them. I ask that Allah give a parent to every kid because no no kid should live like Sakina. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.